Hi, welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back tuning in on my uh, channel again. I think I got another great video for you lined up. So today I wanted to show you the multiple camera view on the Teams Room for Windows, which is available now on your Teams Room device. So what you're able to do is you can hook up four USB cameras onto the Teams Room PC and you can all bring them into the Teams meeting. And as an end user, I can select the camera which I want to see. So the presenter, the audience, but you can also show them all at the same time. Now, this video will walk you through it, how to enable it, and will show you the end user experience. Now, in the room where I'm now, I got multiple cameras connected. And you can see here a really nice room to show you this demonstration. So here at the top, I got multiple E70 cameras, eh, which are showing different parts of the room. I got here underneath an E70, which will show you eh, the total view of the room participants. Here on the right side, you see an E60. The E60 is able to follow the presenter in the room. Eh, so I think a really nice use case to show the multiple camera view on the Teams room for Windows. Now, in step one, I will show you how to enable this on the Teams room windows on the admin interface. And on step two, I will set up a meeting and show you here on my laptop how the end user experience looks like. So first, let me go to step one and show you where you can find and enable this multiple camera view. Now, the first thing you need to do is you go to your Teams room panel and you go to settings. So you go to more. You go to settings, you punch in the password, and then we sign in, and then we got the admin interface. Now, what is important, uh, uh, we have, of course, in the basis that you have a Microsoft Teams Room Pro license, uh, this will be the basis. And also, you got to make sure that you are on 5.2.115 on or higher. So that will be the required version uh, to get the multiple camera view enabled. Then we go to peripherals here on the left side. Here you will find your audio settings, uh, your default speaker. And also here on the right side, you will find the cameras. So you got your main camera, which is here the E70. And now you can enable the multiple cameras. So here first you enable the remote participants. Uh, you can see multiple cameras. Then we select, for example, the E60. You can show a preview and then we select a third camera. Yeah, so in this case, I got two additional cameras, which I want to be able to show in the end user experience. And then we click on save. Really easy. So now we have it all set up. I can start a meeting now. Let's start the meeting. And of course you can always disable it. Eh? So if you go here to the camera view, you see here the option multiple camera view. Eh? So if you don't want that, you can always disable that. Now I got Jan here on my laptop, here on the left side, where I'll be able to show you the end user experience. Now let me ask now Jan to join the meeting. You can see Jan has joined now the meeting. Now let me show you the end user experience here on my laptop. As you can see, we got one view showing now the whole room, which is the front of room camera. And the other camera is the E60. That is that one which I showed you, which is the one here on the right side of the room. Really nice. So we got for the first time now multiple cameras. And this is only two, but you can add up to four cameras at the same time in the meeting. Now you can also switch between cameras on the end user side. So I have an option here on the right, here on the right top. So I can select next camera. This will give you now the total overview of the participants. And of course, any tracking on the camera that will be enabled. And so you got really that, that flexibility. We go here to the next camera. And again, now we see the camera which I have right here. This is the presenter camera. So just by walking around here in this room, uh, this camera is able to follow me. Next. So you're able to switch between all those cameras. And then you can switch back, back to the room view. And now we can switch back to 
the multiple camera view. Really nice. So this is for the for the first time now we got multiple camera view and multiple streams now enabled on the Teams Room Windows. Now this was just a quick video I to show you multiple cameras on a Teams Room on Windows. I show you how to activate it and, and what the end user experience is uh, here on my laptop. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. Probably more videos uh, will come. Uh, I think this is a perfect room to, uh, to show you that functionality. I can only say just subscribe to my channel uh, and I keep you updated when anything new is published. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to seeing you back again.